If you like this video, please subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when we release a new video. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon. There are a lot of gels for our lights to choose from out there. Um, so how do we figure out which ones we actually should use, maybe want to use, could use on set when we're lighting? I'm going to help you break down that menagerie of uh, gels um, by focusing on a specific one we use on a regular basis, CTO. Particularly how CTO gel is used to color correct for tungsten white balance. Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. These are swatch books, gel swatch books. These are all the gels made by the two leading gel manufacturers, Lee and Roscoe. These are a lot of gels to choose from, which is great to have a choice, but how do you figure out which of these gels would be useful on set for your production, for your lighting? Here's a way to look at it. This is a potato masher. It's a very nice modern one that I picked out, thank you very much. Uh, and I use it um, now and then when I'm making mashed potatoes. This, on the other hand, basically, um, let's just say that uh, I've never or have rarely ever used it. These, well, I use them on a regular basis. Well, it's the same with gels. Most of them uh, you'll never use, let alone see, outside of one of these swatch books. Some, like color effect gels, you'll use on occasion when you need to create a specific effect. And then we have our diffusion and our color correcting gels, CTO and CTB. And those on set we use on a regular basis. So let's drill down into CTO a little bit more, but first, I find when I have a lot of choices, it helps to break them down into categories and subcategories, uh, to, into digestible chunks. So let's divide this swatch book up first uh, to make more sense out of it into two main categories, and that is diffusion and balance material and color gels. Now we're focusing on color gels. So let's go down a little bit further. There are two subcategories of color gels, and those are color effect and color correction. Now color effect are your reds and blues and your bastard amber and your light steel blue and all these um, wonderfully crazy color gels uh, that are used to give spots of color on a background to help create a um, colorful bar or club effect and other effects like that. Color correcting gels correct the color temperature of a light source or make up for spikes of color in them. Old fluorescents used to have spikes of either green or magenta in them and color gel, color correction gels were made in, in tube shape even to go over them to correct, to take those spikes out, make the light a uh, white balance light. CTO, color temperature orange, and CTB, color temperature blue, are our two main types of color correcting gels that are, and they're used, you know, practically every day on most film sets. CTO takes daylight balanced light and makes it tungsten. CTB takes tungsten balanced light and makes it daylight. Now to show why these are commonly used, let's look at our white balanced scale a little bit closer. Even though light seems white to us, they all have a color. You know, the sun, the sky, lights, candles, tungsten bulbs. It's just that our eyes auto white balance and make it white. Our two main light sources that we're used to using in life and, and in film and video is the sun and the sky around it and objects that we've either uh, applied heat, electricity to heat them, like a tungsten filament in a light bulb, uh, or we burn like candle or uh, fire. Now our light bulbs used to be predominantly tungsten light bulbs, which emit a Kelvin temperature uh, range between 3200 and 2800 Kelvin, which we call tungsten. 
candles and fire on the lower end, 2000, 1900 around there, um, uh, crazy orange getting into red. Now, since CTO gel converts daylight balanced light down the Kelvin scale towards tungsten, we use these gel, CTO gels, on predominantly two types of light sources. Daylight balanced light bulbs and lamps, and the sun and sky around it. Most of the lamps that we use, and I would suspect you use today, are all LEDs. LEDs are great and they're, they're everywhere. Um, and you can get them in tungsten and daylight balanced uh, color temperatures. So let's say you're shooting a night interior and you've white balanced your camera for tungsten because you happen to have and are using a lot of tungsten balanced uh, lights, LED bulbs, maybe in some old school tungsten uh, bulbs. But let's say you, uh, you have a couple of daylight balanced bulbs and you want to use them. Well, you can use uh, strips of CTO to color correct those daylight balanced bulbs so that they match the tungsten color temperature of your other bulbs. CTO comes in different sheets based on how much color correction uh, it does. There's full, half, quarter, and eighth. Full will convert a 5,000 Kelvin daylight balanced bulb uh, down to 2,800 degrees Kelvin. So that's on the low end, the tungsten scale. Half CTO will bring a 5,000 Kelvin daylight balance bulb down to 3,200 Kelvin. That's on the high end of the tungsten scale. Quarter will bring that same bulb down to around 4,000 Kelvin and eighth down to around 4,500 Kelvin. So let's break those down into two categories. Converts to tungsten, that's the uh, full and the half, and converts towards tungsten or warms it up a little bit and that's the quarter and the eighth. The beauty here is we have choices like how much tungsten do we want? Do we want to be on the lower or the higher end of the tungsten range? And two choices just to warm a light up a little bit to take uh, a little bit of the blue out, uh, add a little warmth to it if we want. What if we want to take our tungsten bulbs and bring them down to the candle range? Well throw full CTO uh, around it, and that'll bring it down to around 2000, get you into that candle range. What about a daylight balanced LED light? Could you get that down to uh, a candle range? Yeah, double CTO. You see, yes, you can combine gels together. Uh, Lee actually makes a, a some of those combinations, like a double CTO, but you can put two sheets, or just take a sheet and you got to fold it up and bring that sucker down. And you can combine your, the, the CTO gels in all kinds of combos that you want. You could do a, a, a half and an eighth together, a half and a quarter, two halves, whatever works. Uh, obviously shoot tests uh, so you can see the colors right, that you're trying to correct for or that you're trying to play with by warming up your lights a little bit. If you need help, Lee Filters has a rough calculator on their website that will show you um, what gels or combination of gels you'll need to go from the starting color temp you put in to the one you want to get to. Now what if I'm shooting during the day with daylight and I'm using daylight balanced bulbs? Would I use CTO then? Possibly. What if I wanted a tungsten light or a warm light in the background, but all I had was uh, daylight balanced bulbs? Well, that's actually not a bad thing. I think that's a better thing because now using these different grades of CTO, I can warm that bulb up uh, to a color that I want, that fits for the feel and mood of the shot. Or I could add a splash of warm sunlight on the background like I've done here, where the uh, ambient light uh, is at daylight blue, but here, you know, it's white because we're white balanced for it. And the sunlight is, you know, just a little orange. And I've done that with half CTO. In addition to the contrast, the color also adds a little bit of color contrast that helps give depth to the shot. One thing you'll need to take into account is that all gels absorb certain, uh, a certain amount of the light 
uh, that passes through them. Right? They have to, right? Because they're in order to give you orange, it's got to absorb other color, colors like blue and whatnot in order to give you the color that you want. So you need to take that into account. It's the give and take of the universe. So that's CTO and CTB is basically the same in reverse. It convert, it takes tungsten balanced light and moves it up the scale, uh, Kelvin scale towards daylight balanced. Note that CTB uses, uh, absorbs uh, almost twice as much light, a lot more than CTO does. That's why I like to get more daylight balanced light and convert them to tungsten when I have to. Now in this one video, we only talked about one set of gels, the CTOs. Um, and there are quite a few other gels, not the whole book, but we're gonna go into them in other videos uh, here and there. Uh, particularly how we can combine CTO with other things like bastard amber to make uh, a candle and f a fire effect, uh, flicker effects. But I would say just, you know, for now, play with CTO. It's, it's uh, super versatile. Um, you can pretty much get it anywhere, if not online, most rental houses and whatnot sell it, expendable houses. They're always gonna have most of the grades of CTO. It's a lot of fun uh, to play with, um, and we're gonna play with it even more in other videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out pullmyfocus.tv uh, for the companion articles that go along with um, our videos. And thanks again for watching. Oh, and by the way, and this guy, I know what it is. My, uh, I got it from my Italian grandma. It's a rosette cookie maker. Little metal guys go on here, you dip them in batter, dip them in hot oil, boom, they pop off. Little powdered sugar, mm. So, uh, okay. So, I lied a little bit, I knew what it was. But it was for effect, okay? It was to help you learn.